everybody, my name is Estelle and welcome back to another episode of Frame Arms Girl Official. In our previous episode, we gave you guys an introduction to Megami device with our chaos and pretty magical girl and witch set. But this week, the Frame Arms Girls are back to take over. We are going back to basics with our lovely Fores Velga. And not with just one, but two Fores Velgas for you guys this week. First off, we're going to be talking about the Frame Arms Girl and Rapid Reader set, as well as the newly released Fores Velga Bikini Armor version. First up, we have the Frame Arms Girl and Rapid Raider set Fidesz Velga version. Now, this model has a bit of a backstory. Originally, when it was set to be released, this was going to be the original shade of red. But during its final checks, and in order for it to be more usable with other model kits, they decided to change the color to the black and white version that you see online. As you can tell, the staff fell completely in love with the racing red color, so they knew they had to release this somehow. So they decided to re-release it as the racing version with Fedez Velga as the rider. Up next, we have the Fedez Velga Bikini Armor version. Mr. Komatsu Eji, who also originally designed the Fedez Velga, also made a bikini armored variation in a form of an illustration. Now, this illustration has finally been brought to life in a form of a model kit. According to the designer himself, the new bikini armor was traditionally famous around the world and was also known as the Fedez swimsuit during development. She has now three new headpieces you can use onto the original Fedez Velga, especially the ones that cover her eyes, just like in the anime. Now, how different can these two Fedez Velgas be? Hmm, let's ask Robot Sensei Ash to help us out. Here are the runners for the Fedez Velga Rapid Raider set and the Fedez Velga Bikini Armor version. So first up, we have the Rapid Raider set which takes just basically two thirds of this whole table. What I really like about this cause you know, a racing car likes big flashy colours so you know, this vibrant red and orange is something really I like cause you know what, I love really fast red cars so this is just perfect for me. Now, let's get on to the Heres Velga Bikini Armour version. It has entirely new bikini armour parts so you can see over here, very nice matte finish on the skin and we also have this very new well-developed bikini parts which I'm sure many of you will want to take your hands on. One of the things I also want to note actually because they have a very new face part so there's a bit more blush this time around compared to the previous one so if you really want to get a new update for your Heres Velga kits, this is one of the features which you must keep an eye out on. Did I mention the new hairs? Because there's one, two, three new hair pieces. So you can get a regular Heres Velga hair or you can choose to cover one eye. These two would be perfect. If you do buy both of these model kits, you can actually use these two parts interchangeably because this part here from the bikini armor version is actually the same parts from the Rapid Raider one. So you can actually just mix and match these two to make your own original Res Velga body parts. With that being said, what do you think of our two lovely Res Velgas, Estelle? Hmm, I'm gonna start with the Rapid Raider set first. I really like the fact that she comes with a bite because I think every other model that we've actually reviewed in this series, none of them comes in a bite like that. She gives off a really different aura. Also, with the history that goes behind this model, it was just, you know, it just blows my mind just knowing that the Kotobukiya staff been through so much to get this out so people can experience her. So I really love that about the Raider set. But for the Fores Velga Bikini Armor version, it's a bit more different. She looks really cute, but at the same time, she looks really tough because she has this clear blades that makes her look really cool. I can just imagine if the light hits it, it's just gonna look awesome. And on top of that, the designs on her bikini, the details though, if you take a look closely, there's a little heart on her butt. I think it's really cute. And the frills and then the bikini top piece, I, I'm a huge fan of it. And I love her short hair. I think the Fres Velga bikini version is so cute. Here's a step up guide where you can combine the Res Velga Rapid Raider set with the Res Velga bikini armor version. So we're gonna actually use the bike itself and put it on the Res Velga bikini armor version. But since we have some leftover parts from the Rapid Raider set, we're gonna use that as well in our build. Are you ready? Let's go! So what we're actually gonna do right now is we're gonna actually 
try to replicate this except instead of using her we are going to be using the bikini armor version instead since they have the exact same um, 30 mm plugs on uh, the bodies see the arms over here the legs over here as well so if this would all go on here theoretically it will work on the bikini armor as well right so let's see if we can work something out with the parts because this is not actually in the manual itself so we're gonna have to actually search around and see what is the best way to actually combine this part so the bike here this part here we might need to use this so we'll have to take out this parts here because we're gonna use that as well as you can see over here small little parts just take out the parts over here just be careful when you take out these parts because you might break something and the last thing you want to do is to break anything so the bike is still very much a bike so you can take out the samurai sword just be careful because uh, like again you don't want to break anything because the last thing you want to have in a model kit is a broken part so we're gonna actually cannibalize the bike right now i'm sorry bike but you have to go you can actually even change it to like a small little buggy if you shape it like this again if you have a broken part you can always send it to kutubukiya to get a replacement but shipping it overseas might be a problem so you want to be as careful as you can when you remove any kinds of parts. That's why we want to get out is this part over here, which you can use as the backpack. Do you like this part over here? It's slowly coming out. There it is. So far here, you can just gently wiggle off. And here we are. What we want to use actually is this part over here. So now we don't want to use the, bike, the wheel part. So what we're going to have to do is, first of all, we're going to have to take out these parts. Okay, so now we have this part out. We're gonna get this part out here. So, and this part here is a sliding part. So, we try not to use the, the sliding mechanism too much because um, overuse will make it very weak and then it will become useless. So, let's try to take it out without using that. Now that we have this part, we can put it all back in place. Just tighten it out again. Put these parts just like this. And what we want to do is we'll take the headlights. See here, the headlights. Close it first. And here we have our completed Riz Vulga customized kit. So, let me just give you a quick rundown of what parts we use in this particular model itself. From the base, you can clearly tell this is just a regular Riz Vulga bikini armor version. But for her skirt armor over here, we've used the bike parts from over here and the ones below. And we actually use a customized version of this part here as you can see, the ones with the 30mm. We've used the regular bikini armor version to secure this in place. So for our white and red parts over here and over here, we've actually used parts from the original Resvelga given to us as spare parts in this particular design to give it like a more booster kind of aeroplane feel. Over here, over here and over here at the wings, we've actually used parts from the bike itself like the front plate and the visor. So actually, you know, it might be a visor at one time, but using these parts, you can turn it into wings. So if I can make this kind of customizable design, Imagine what happens if you buy your own bikini armor version and rapid radar set and you can make your very own original race velga. Did you enjoy our Fares Velga Abundant episode? If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below telling us what you thought about this week's episode. And if you want to check out our previous episodes, you can do so over here. Also, if you click on the bell button, you will be notified of our newest episodes when they hit. You can check me out on Instagram as Estelle Fly. And you can check me out on my relevant socials over here. This has been Estelle, and on behalf of Ash, we're signing off. Bye! Bye!